just realized that I filmed my entire entry to this video on my gizmo, but in this direction. So anyways, I'm on my way to an adult art class. Have to hurry up. I'm running late, but I'm going to take my scooter, which actually usually gets me there faster than taking an Uber. Um, I'm really excited for the ceramics class. Art is something I've been wanting to dive into for a while, and I'm finally making it happen. All right, I'm actually gonna be able to have an okay entry now because one, having a scooter is lit, this way. <laughs> having a scooter is lit, you can get through traffic so much quicker than you can with anything else. A car, walking obviously. Anyways, love having a scooter. So I got here fast and it started 15 minutes later than what I was expecting. I think subconsciously my brain knew that I would be late. I'm very excited. I'm looking into the museum right now and I can see like the art setup. And yeah, so my entire life I have been more on the analytical side, more on the science side. Loved creativity, loved art, but I always thought to myself that that's just not for me. It's not a path that I need to go down. I'm not going to be good at it. I'm also a perfectionist. So if I start something, I immediately have to be very good at it or I get upset. I'm going into this without that thought process, discovering art a lot more, which has helped me mentally a ton. And yeah, going into it with the idea that I don't need to be good at it. I actually have no care to be good at it. I'm just creating to create. I'm very excited about that. <clears throat> I'm here chilling, waiting for the class to start. I did forget my water, so I'm hoping that there is some type of um, vending machine here. It's gonna be really good, I'm excited. I'm also getting in the process of talking in public. Really oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> that was the cutest shit ever. Oh, I love people. Um, yeah, anyways. I'm really wanting to get into sculpting. I've done a few vlogs, mini vlogs, on sculpting at some local places, but class-wise, it's definitely what I'm diving into deeper. And it's really cool that they offer something like this for adults. Um, they have so many different types of classes, not just ceramics, they have actual pottery, they have drawing, they have painting, it, the list goes on. So I'm probably gonna dive in and explore to, with those for a while. Um, but I'll let you know how it goes, and hopefully they let me record. I'm really hoping that they do. So we'll see about that. Okay. Welcome to intro to ceramics. As you can see, it's just me and, well, you actually can't see. There's one other person next to me. That's it. And then you have my lovely instructor to the left, Elle. Now this is my very first voiceover, so please bear with me. But Elle is amazing. He's right now teaching me the simple techniques of a pinch pot, which is what I'm working with in my hand there. There's my pinch pot so far. It's really a simple way of making cups, bowls, etc. rather than putting them in, and spinning them on the clay wheel like you would typically see. Now I'm listening intently, but you'll see by the end if that intentive listening paid off or not. Now what I'm doing here is using my natural oils, as I would like to say, to smooth, thing out, smooth things out rather than using water. He said that a lot of people can use that as a clutch and it can potentially ruin your project. So always try to use your natural oils to smooth little cracks out, make the indentations, and then over time we're going to work on molding it exactly how I wanted to mold it. I had to work really hard on working in the bigger picture rather than working on small details at a time, which is very common. Now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm cutting off the top. Really with this class, I was just working on learning techniques rather than trying to have an outcome with whatever I'm making. I just wanted to learn every technique he was talking about, fail at it just so I can get better. So I'm cutting off the top so then we can use coils <laughs> which we'll get into, and, and build it up. A lot of people build it up into sculptures, vases. There's some pretty amazing things if you guys want to look that up. But anyways, this is me 
getting really intensive with trying to make sure my hand does not float, which floating means kind of having a squiggly line. I do that very well. Finally, we're getting into some coils as I mentioned previously. Right now what I'm doing with this coil is I'm doing what is called scoring it and I'm going to score on the coil itself and then my pinch pot itself and you do this so it has something to grip onto. One, during the molding process it makes it more sturdy but two, during the firing process. So if during the firing process it's slippery and it doesn't have the scoring marks, a lot of times it would end up falling off or just cracking in general. And it's just really important to get into the good habit of scoring like I am doing here. Some people make it look really pretty. Um, I am just way too impatient for that. Hopefully, <laughs> another thing I'm really hoping to get out of this is um, learning a lot more patience with things like this. So we'll see. Now, let me teach you what not to do with coiling. I remember one time I thought I saw this technique of coiling on TikTok, so I thought it was super cool. Just wrapping it all the way around, I was gonna fill in this little hole, almost like a snake, and then build up from there. I soon realized that's not what you're supposed to do. Al comes over and he's like, lady, you're doing this all wrong. Oh, by the way, um, you put this in, this is like your extra clay to put in between the cracks so you continue to like mold it. It's extra sticky. It brings everything together. See, okay, Al, Al's coming over. He's like, no, honey, this is not the way to do it. One, you're putting way too much water. I guess if you have water in the bottom and you just let it sit there and it ends up um, corrupting, he said, the integrity of the, the pinch pot itself. So you have to take out the water or you'll end up having holes in your clay, which is bad. And then you take off the coils and you do one coil at a time. Not as cool in my opinion. I thought my technique was way cooler, but we're not here for cool points. We're here to do things right. So you take off all the coils. We're gonna build it up by one piece at a time. Again, working on the patience. And then you'll be able to have a successful coil pot. At this point, we are wrapping up class, and I just needed to add some bit of my own personal flair to this, even though I'm really not trying to create anything amazing here, I'm just learning. And so I've seen cups before on Pinterest where they have the impressions of your hands in the cups. So very last minute, that's what I tried to do there. Again, I started doing that. I was like, you shouldn't do that at the end. You should have started with that. 
because then it will lose the form in the kettles. Either way, I'm learning. With storing it, you put it in the plastic bag, you're supposed to spray the bag to make sure that it doesn't harden. I, oh, and you're not supposed to spray on the pot, which I do here immediately. <laughs> so you spray the bag, you wrap it up, store it, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, I wouldn't say today was a fail, but we're learning. It's okay. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too windy, but first, art class done. Give you a recap in just a bit. All right, day one ceramics class in the books. I'm very excited about it. I'm excited to learn these new skills. Now, I was not able to record and do the YouTube curation that I was hoping for out of this class. Just, um, just a couple of different conflicts in regards to recording and yeah, doesn't matter. But anyways, I was able to get some things and share a couple techniques with you guys, so I was excited about that. Now it is the first class, so it was a little bit slow, but I know that we're going to be diving deeper into things. Next week we're going to be working on the wheel, um, so throwing some clay a lot more, and then because it's only two people in the class, um, L, my instructor, he said that I was able to decide what I'm wanting to work on more. So excited with that. I'm really more interested in the sculpting and molding of things. However, who knows, maybe I will really like the clay molding. I mean, the um, the throwing of clay more. We'll see. Next week, I don't think I'm going to end up bringing my vlogging equipment, mostly because he said it's going to be very messy and he suggests doing that the next time. And I'm not really trying to ruin any of my equipment quite yet. Maybe a few more episodes in. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm ex really excited to bring you on this journey. I know it's going to be really fun and just learning this new skill and learning more about myself and encouraging people that it's never too late. You're never too old. Sorry, that's my dog. To work on something new and try a new endeavor. And yeah, you're just, it's never too late, but I'm excited to bring you on this journey and if you have any ideas on how I can get around just doing the voiceover things, maybe making it a little bit more creative, please let me know. That'd be very helpful. Let me know in the comments, however you want to do it. But still getting used to this YouTube thing. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm excited. I'll I'll talk to you guys next week. Ciao.